And welcome back guys. It's Keith again with AMD Red Team Plus and today what we're going to look at is well changing out some thermal paste and the best way to do it. Now if you're getting a new heat sink or replacing your processor or even if you're just updating your thermal paste and you're putting some fresh one on because it's been on there for a while and it just you know makes you feel better. Uh, it's real easy to reach for some uh, you know rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to do it. But today what we're going to look at is we're going to do it the right way. And by the right way, I mean we're going to use Arctic Clean two-stage uh, cleaning solution. One clean, one removes the old thermal paste, one prepares for the new one. And of course we're going to put some Arctic Silver 5 on it. And since I don't have a microfiber cloth, and, you know, and I said we're doing this the right way, the other alternative is some good old coffee filters because they don't leave any fibers or anything. Alright, first things first, we're going to get in and we're going to take the uh, heat sink off this uh, motherboard right, This is of course your typical old AM3 Plus uh, socket here. So you just unclip the uh, power and then you unclip the heat sink from it and wiggle it and there it goes. It comes right off. And what you're left with is of course you know the dirty old thermal paste. <laughs> That's really all you can say. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the solutions to clean this and because of the way the case sits and the camera and everything we're actually going to be focusing on the heat sink itself for the cleaning process. I'm going to be doing the same thing to the processor, but it'll be a little hard to film that, so we're going to look at this. Alright, so now that we got the heat sink all set up here, we're going to go ahead and do the step one, and that's the actual thermal material remover. Now you don't just squirt it on there and then wipe it right off. You'll want to saturate it. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and put some drops on here. There we go, we saturated it. I'm gonna try and, <laughs> it's a little sloped here, so I'm gonna try and catch it, there we go. All right, so now that we've got it saturated, it's soaking in there, and you can actually see it starting to kind of break down the thermal material, and it's got a nice uh, citrus aroma. And I know everybody's impatient, and they wanna go ahead and have their stuff up and running, but sometimes it's worth the wait. And we're just gonna take a look at that, and we're gonna see just how clean this thing gets it. And it's actually 30 to 60 seconds, so you know. Whoops, derp on my end. Wow, that's one pass, you know, light wipe. You can see that the thermal paste has just come right off. And after a few wipes, it is extremely clean. Actually, it's a little bit cleaner than a, wow. Yeah, definitely didn't expect it to come that clean because all that's left there is kind of just the, the, the Mars from it sitting on the processor. Alright, next we want to look at doing the second step. Alright guys, so here we are ready for set step two, which is the thermal surface purifier. So, through recommendations that I've been given by other people, they said this particular step is actually a little easier if you take it and get you a prep space and you saturate the... Um, cloth that you're using or the uh, coffee filter so we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the coffee filter here and we're gonna wipe down the surface as a prep sliding around there and it's actually coming to a really nice shine down there it's kinda hard to see in the picture but or in the video but it's extremely smooth extremely bright so alright that's it for that, that's the cleaning procedure now and prepping and now we're going to apply thermal paste and this is the most controversial part so seriously when you do the thermal paste look at what the manufacturer of that thermal paste recommends because certain thermal paste actually recommends you apply it differently. Some do tell you to use the P method, some tell you to use the line method, some even tell you to spread it so it really is best to see what the manufacturer recommends for your particular thermal paste. Alright guys, so here we go with the application of the thermal paste and for this we will be using Arctic Silver 5 and if anybody's familiar with the way Arctic Silver works Arctic Silver 5 is a very very easy to spread thermal paste so something like this actually is perfectly fine with using you know the P method in the center so no problem there I'm sure somebody will have something to say about it but We'll just agree to disagree. So, put the thermal paste on. Take your heat sink. 
In this case, we are using the reference or the stock FX8350 heat sink from AMD. All right, now that I got the clip on there, we will clamp it down, reach over and plug in the fan header. And there you go guys, that is the very easy method to properly clean the thermal paste from your heatsink and your processor. And it's fairly inexpensive and honestly it works so well, I don't think I'll ever be using um, alcohol ever again because that, it, it wiped right off. I didn't sit there and have to rake it off, rake it off, then reapply, then clean it off and clean it off. It just, it was extremely smooth. I give it definitely a thumbs up. I highly recommend it. And it's one of these things that until you try it you probably won't believe me but i do appreciate you guys so if you enjoyed the video you know what to do and stay tuned because i do have some much more interesting stuff coming but this was something i really wanted to share with you guys uh thank you so much and if you have any questions or ideas just hit me up over on twitter and catch you there